Get ready for College Hoops 2K8. The Norfolk State Spartans battle the St. Louis Billings. Hello everyone and welcome to College Basketball's National Championship game. We're here at the Alamo Dome. This is Vern Lundquist with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wilson. Give us your take, Bill. The story here is the matchup at off guard. Langston is one of the premier shooting guards in the nation. He's so strong from the line. Give him two free throws, he'll give you two points. Radford is a tremendous shooting guard as well. He's well built and solid for a two guard and will use his size to push around his defender. and we're underway in the national championship game. They started this one off with Hinneman. Last shot laid in by Hanson. They're bringing the double team. Blankson passes it up court. Dishes it to the high post. Blankson takes it up. Hanson snatches the rebound. He attacked it with everything he had, but it still wasn't enough. Good defense, not letting him jam it home. Conway. Dumps it down low. The lay-in was good by Cooper. He's got two. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson, for an update. What do you have for us, Tracy? Thanks, Vern. A little while ago, I talked with the Billikens coach. He told me that his team got on a roll in the first game of the tournament, and it simply hasn't stopped since. As hard as it's supposed to be for a lower seed such as themselves to make it to the national championship game, he said it hasn't seemed that difficult at all. That's how well they've been playing, and he doesn't expect anything less in this title game. We'll see if he's right. Thank you, Tracy. A little too aggressive right there. I like that he's not afraid to be physical, but that was too much. Knocks down the first one. Gets the second to fall as well. McKenzie inbounds the ball. Under seven minutes left in the half. They're going to double team him. Blankson way up court. Line ball. Hooked it off. And it's controlled by Norfolk State. Goes airball. What a jam to finish the break by the yard. They're up 8-2. to two. Knock brings it up court. Here comes the double team. Knocked loose. McKenzie unloads from 10 feet. Conway corrals the miss inside. The quick shot. Simple conversion, and somehow it doesn't fall. Those are the kind of shots that will haunt you for a while. Has it on the free throw line. Line ball skips it to the baseline. Not shoots it. Good from downtown. And they're now down by three. But it's recovered by Norfolk State. A superior effort as he went through the foul and then put it down. Strong move by him. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. Jaquette inbounds the ball. About five and a half minutes left in the half. They're going to double team him. Top of the key. Knox hands it off. Leads him in. Full net. They close the gap to four. Leads him with the pass. Hanson hits the layup. And they're out in front by six. Kowalowskis passes it up court. Stolen away. He was trying to thread the needle, huh? There just wasn't enough space for that pass. Redford. Nice move. 
Brooks, he gets hammered, and he'll head to the strike. Knocks down the first one. Gets the second to fall as well. Jaquette inbounds the ball. About four and a half minutes left in the half. Tipped, but it's tracked down by Kovalioskis. Feeds it to the corner, throws it out. The three ball was good by Brunson, but they're still behind by five. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Minimum. Conway dumps it off. Kruger, the tough shot. Line ball corrals the miss off the nice box out. Kavaliowskis brings it up the floor. Terrific job clearing some space under the glass. Physicality prevailing. Line ball catches it. Top of the key. Dishes left wing. Not. Shot clock dwindling. Launches one from beyond the arc. The offensive rebound by Knox. That last shot missed from 13. He worked hard for that shot, but the defender worked just a little bit harder. Redford backs in. Beeler puts it up. Hits the jumper. The Billikens take their first time out of the game. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some substitution subs. on the court. McKenzie inbounds the ball. St. Louis is really struggling to close down the middle. Tracy has something for us. Tracy? The Billikens coach could be heard shouting to his players on the floor to help each other in the paint. They've given up way too many points close to the basket, and he knows it. All right, Tracy. Last shot dunked down by Kempman. What a great setup on that delivery. What a play. 2.47 left in the first half. Santiago dishes to the left block. It's two on one. The alley-oop. That was a wonderful feat to set up the bucket. We've seen a lot of that out of him tonight. Santiago with the ball. Left wing. Passes to the wing. Seven feet out. Went to the backboard, but it was no good by Blankson. He tried to sneak it in over the trees and just missed. That's when you want to play inside out. Locate the open man on the perimeter. Leads him with the pass. The Spartans turn this one over out of bounds. You have to find a way to reel that one in. Unforced errors like that will drive a coach back. The Billikens with some difficulties. Santiago passes way down to it. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by St. Louis. Young inbounds the ball. Crosses it over. Redford. Young gets it right ball. He put up and in that last layup. No way he was coming up empty when he got the ball that close to the rim. 131 left in the first half. It's stolen by Kempton. That's his second steal of the contest. Conway goes up. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. He makes the first. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. Gets them both. Hooks three. And it's scooped up by the yard. No good on the last layup by Conway. Just throw it down. His coach is going crazy on the sideline. Santiago didn't watch his feet and steps on the line. We're going the other way. It was too late when he realized he was on the line. You've got to be a little more heads up, Vern.
Conway. Nice little crossover. Led into the bucket with the dish, and it slammed by Leon. They just keep rolling. 61 answer. Stolen away by Conway. The last shot they gently in. McKenzie inbounds the ball. St. Louis has been on the wrong side of this long run, and Tracy's got a report for us. The Billikens coach is frantically talking to his assistants, trying to come up with a plan on defense to stop this run. He is not pleased with their current setup, to say the least. Thanks, Tracy. Well, let's get back to the action court. The Spartans will get the rest of their starters back on the court. Bigelow. It falls. He's got three. Has it inside. In the key. Pulled in by Hanson. Left wing. Goes to the crossover. And last round good by Redford. He knows the court and he knows how to get by you. Just a superb all-round player. Physical talent. And talent for the X's and O's. Listen to the crowd burn. This kind of excitement is why I love college basketball. First half comes to an end with a score 31 to 15. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe you can do play by play and color. And now it's time to show you our player of the half. Bill Bradford has been lights out from the floor, Bird. It must feel like he's thrown the ball in the ocean. Every shot he takes goes through, and he looks absolutely unstoppable. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. We're all set to begin the second half, so let's get back into it. Line ball. Inbounds it to start the second half. Now let's go down to Tracy Wolfson, who has an update for us. Thanks, Vern. During halftime, I spoke with the head coach. He felt it wouldn't be classy to run up the score and was going to change things in a way to make sure that doesn't happen. Coach said that even though his starters had plenty of energy, he would still rotate in his bench players. He said that it wasn't a question of fatigue, but more of a method of showing different looks on offense. Back to you, Vern. Okay, Tracy. We'll see if he got the message across. Anticipates the pass. Merritt, way up court. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Mott crosses it up court. Deflects the pass. It's gathered up by Meredith. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Knock. Leads him in. It's deflected. And it's scooped up by Meredith. I'd love to see that. He's looking around and pounced for it. Such a deep run. The last tray was cashed in by Redford. Blankson raises up, gets the friendly bounce off the side of the rim. He's three for five for the game. The Spartans have got a nice lead. Redford catches it, baseline. The crossover feeds inside. From 17 feet out, and it drops. 19 points, and he leads all in scoring. The steal by Norfolk State. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. That last shot offline from 20. 
Blankson. Catches it, right wing. Goes up. The up fake was a good one, and so was the layup by Linebar. He's shooting 66% for the game. Meredith passes it to the left wing. Stolen away by Blankson. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Backs down. Redford shoots the turnaround. Got it. They're in front, 44 to 19. The Billikens call timeout. Getting set to inbound the ball. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Line ball inbounds the ball. Lead pass inside. Line ball. It's good. Nice lead pass to set that one up. Not with the nice pass, three assists, and he leads his team in that category. Lampley. Dishes to the baseline. Kempman backs him down. Missed shot by Lampley. But they're still out in front by 23. Picked up by LeBron. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Kempman has it right wing. Passes right side. Backs in with the shot. Collected inside by Kowalowskis. He just didn't look comfortable on that shot, Fern, and you can see it in the result. Line ball. Gets it in the paint. Norfolk State takes its first time out of the game. Set to inbound the ball. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Hanson inbounds the ball. The Spartans with a comfortable lead. Hanson takes it up and buries the teardrop layup. By 23. St. Louis needs to cut down on the turnovers, and Tracy is near their bench. Tracy? The Billikens coach is not sugarcoating the issue. He told his assistants, our fundamentals are abysmal, and then added, the only players I want on the floor right now are the ones that can take care of the ball. All right, Tracy. Just over three minutes left in the second half. Let's it go. The three-pointer was offline by Hanson, but they still lead by 23. Out left, Young gets called for the reach, and that's his first foul of the game. It takes quick hands to get the theft, and he was too slow that time. Line ball, inbounds the ball. Blankson takes it up, lays it right in. Nine points, and he's his team's leading scorer. 2.29 left in the game. To the bucket. The layup flipped in by Conway. St. Louis calls time. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Kowalowskis dumps it to the paint McKenzie pulls the trigger sticks it from 14 feet and they're now behind by 21 
Conway brings it up court. Redford catches it, left wing, uses the crossover. I love the defense. Just because he's in tight doesn't mean you have to give up the easy deuce. Line ball. Bold pass. Goes up. Grab by Kruger. Redford backs him down. Young snatches the offensive rebound. Redford takes the shot. Knocks down the shot after using the up fake. They're ahead, 50 to 27. Beats it to the right side. Redford has been lights out. Rises and dishes. Young passes to the top of the key. Crosses it up. Not there on the three by Redford. Lucky break for the defense. Whoever was supposed to be guarding him better wake up because the next time it won't be a miss. That last three ball is drained by Blankson. 44 seconds left in the game. Redford from downtown sinks it. They should hold on to the lead, Vern. If they play smart, they can walk away with the win. Not stepped on the line, and they will give the ball up. That could have been avoided, Vern. He might have been a little too concerned with the defense. Beeler inbounds the ball. Two-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Lampley has it right wing. That last shot netted it for three. Every basket is another dagger. The game is all but over, Vern. Raises up. Tried to answer back with a three, but it's missed by Knox. Meredith for three. What? Kavaliowski fires it way up court. That last long three. Nailed by Blankson. My, oh my, what a game. College basketball has a new national champion. What a sensational season for this coach and this team. These players rose to the challenge in the Final Four, just as they did throughout the year. They played with such heart in this tournament. Norfolk State coach is a terrific leader, Vern. It's a great tribute to his masterful coaching. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Now let's send it over to Greg Gumbel. Hi, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're going to bring you our Pontiac game-changing performance. There is nothing more exciting in basketball than a slam dunk that rocks the house. The Norfolk State Spartans slam the door on their opponents with big time dunks like the one you're seeing here. This is a dunk his teammates will be buzzing about for a while. Look at the fury with which he throws it through the hoop. Thanks a lot, Greg. And thank you for watching on this exciting night as we crowned a new champion of NCAA basketball right here on 2K Sports. This is Vern Lundquist saying goodbye.